It was a fantastic session for working people. Uh, if you look back to the start of the session, it's two years of course, in 2013, the first thing they did when they came in was they expanded Medicaid to cover more people. That's really huge for the people who need the coverage, but it's also huge for the people who work in medical facilities that were struggling with the issue of uncompensated care. Um, you flash forward to the very end of the session, they passed a bonding bill that's going to provide thousands of jobs for the construction industry and those people who supply the construction industry. And in between, they balanced the budget, they raised taxes on the wealthiest to do that. There were significant increases in funding for education, for higher education, allowing the university to freeze tuition. Um, they also, you know, passed the exchange program. Now, I know there were a lot of troubles with the rollout of the exchange, the healthcare exchange, but because of the exchange, there's all sorts of people who previously couldn't afford health insurance who can get health insurance. We had workers' compensation reform to include um, psychological trauma as an issue for workers' comp, which never had been done before. Uh, we extended unemployment insurance for workers who are victims of lockouts. And a big piece was we raised the minimum wage to 950 with indexing. Um, we're only the second state in the union to do it with indexing legislatively. So that's, that was a pretty big accomplishment. Um, at the end of last year's session, we passed a major bill which allowed us to organize or gave child care workers the right to organize and PCAs the right to organize. That could meet another 35,000 union members in the state of Minnesota. Um, so there's still some, you know, there's always new issues on the horizon. Um, one of the issues we didn't get past this time was payday lending reform. We have some situations where people are going in getting an advance on their paycheck and the next time they need another advance, by the end of the day, they're paying close to 300% interest. We had a bill that passed the House, we had a bill that passed the Senate. Unfortunately, they weren't identical and they weren't able to get that done by the end of session. We'll be back with that. Uh, the budget will always be an issue. We still need more money for nursing homes. We did get a raise for nursing home workers for the first time in four years. but they still really haven't caught up to where they need to be, so we'll be coming back with that. But the number one issue right now is if we're going to continue to do this work, we have to re-elect these people who did the good job for us. We have to get out there, we have to vote, we have to talk to our neighbors, and we have to see that these people get re-elected so we can continue to do good things and that the advances we made this time don't get rolled back by a legislature that may not be labor-friendly.